Hey guys, and welcome back to the fifth video in my advanced Python programming tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Lambda. Uh, I think that's the way you say it, at least. Uh, excuse me if I'm going to say it wrong this whole video, which pretty much stands for an anonymous function. Now, these are extremely useful, um, and they don't take up very much space in your program, which is really good, and I'm going to show you exactly how they work um, and what they do. So I first want to just start off by defining a regular function. Again, this is one example I've been using a lot. I'm just going to say define func, say like return x plus 5. That's what our function is going to do. It's simply going to add 5 uh, to the number, whatever we give it. So right, if I print something like func of 2, we should get 7. There we go, and we get 7 to the screen. Now, for an extremely basic fu function like this, um, oftentimes you don't want to have to write a function definition and take up uh, like two lines of code like this, um, it's easier to write it in a different way and it looks uh, like more smooth, maybe more slick in your program. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So that's one way that we can do it by making a function like that. Another way, and this is using Lambda, is to do something like this. So the name of our function, I'm going to say func, uh, say func2 is equal to, and then we're going to type our keyword Lambda like this. You can see it highlights um, in orange, just like our definition key here for our function. We're going to give it a parameter or multiple parameters. I think you can use multiple parameters at least. And then we're simply going to state what it returns. So the way this works is you type lambda, the parameter um, or multiple parameters, which we're going to try in a second, uh, a colon, and then whatever value you're going to return. So the thing with lambda is it's used when you have one uh, return ex or one expression in your function. So something like this. So again, I could do return x plus five over four. Like I could do a whole expression. As long as that expression fits on one line, um, then that's perfectly fine to return. And I'll show you how this works. So if I say print func two, and I just give it a number like nine, there we go, we get 14 and seven. So it works just like a regular function. Um, and it kind of just looks like a variable. So we're saying function two is equal to an anonymous function, that's what lambda stands for, anonymous function, with a parameter x, and it's simply going to return x plus 5. Now, these are really useful um, for using with the map function and the filter function, which I'm going to show you later, so you don't have to constantly create a new function up at the top of your program. And you can also use them inside of other functions. So let's let's uh, start by doing that. We're going to say func2. I'm simply just going to copy it and paste it into my other function, and then I'm going to return func2 of x plus 85. Let's try that. And now if I call my function, we can see that we get 92 like so. Now this again is really useful because you want to um, oftentimes create another function or use something multiple times within a function, um, but you might not want to like write a new one up here like func2. Um, you just want it to be only used within that function. And in that case, you would use lambda as it keeps it all contained. And at the top of your function, you can write a bunch of other mini functions um, that you can then use multiple times within your program. It's hard to see the use case for it in small examples like this, but they are extremely useful, um, especially in like more in-depth code, longer code. So now I'm going to show you with multiple parameters. So I believe, and I'm not sure, but we'll see if we can do this. Um, so we're going to try, I'm going to make func3 is equal to lambda x, y, and then we're simply just going to return x plus y. So let's just see if we call func3, and let's give it a value like 5 and 5, and we'll print that to the screen as well. Let's see. There we go. So that does work as well. So you can give this infinitely num uh, an infinite amount of parameters, just like you'd be able to do something like this in our function. Um, and you can also, I believe, do optional parameters. So I do something like y equals 4. And then if I put 5, we should be getting a value of 9 here. And there we are. So you can use optional parameters. Um, you can do everything that you'd be able to do with a regular function, except you can just return one expression um, like that. Okay, so let's now use this with our map function and our filter function. So in earlier videos, uh, I used the map function. And to recall what that does, I'm just going to create a list quickly. Say a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oops, 9 and 10, like that. And I'm now just going to say, let's say new list equals list map 
and then we're gonna have a function in this case I'll just write func for now and then we give it a list right like a so uh, what I want to do now is I actually want to just put a function in here uh, without having to create a new one up here like I don't want to define func so this is a perfect example where we can use lambda we don't even have to make a variable like equal to the function anymore we can just type lambda right in here so lambda and then we'll say x and we'll say x plus five so now we again should simply just be adding five um, to each of the elements in a and then print so we're just print new list to the screen now and see if this is indeed working and there you go we can see we started at one so six uh, all the way up to 15 like so again that saves us now having to make a function at the top of our program that we're only going to use for one specific case which is this map function um and again we also don't have to create like func equals lambda up here but you can if you want if you're going to use it in a different case you can just type it right in the same line as uh, your map function or as your fill with your filter function so this works the same with the filter function i'll uh, do filter like so um it's going to be our function i guess uh yeah i believe this works with the filter function oh yes it does okay so what this is going to do now is we're just going to return x modulus 2 equals equals 0 so again now given x we're going to see if it's divisible by 2 uh, if it is we return true we add that element to the list otherwise we will not we check now we get 2 4 6 8 10 and there we go so you can see why lambda is extremely useful it's really cool um, especially if you want to create a lot of mini functions or you want to create functions within functions um, so keep everything nice and organized and it's a nice trick to be able to use in python so with that being said, that's been the end of the video today. If you guys did enjoy and you did learn something, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you again in the next tutorial.